building on a firm foundation, a legacy for the future. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Today, the Lord has placed upon our hearts a new dream, a truly God-sized project that will leave a legacy for the future, a vision to build a $3 million, 25,000 square foot office building. The FCA ministry will occupy 2,000 square feet. The remaining space will be leased out, generating close to 300,000 annually to impact the ministry of FCA throughout all of South Dakota. This building will be strategically placed alongside the University of Sioux Falls and Sioux Falls Christian as part of a state-of-the-art athletic complex which would enable FCA to develop unlimited ministry opportunities. Joshua chapter 4 verses 4 through 7 these stones are to be a memorial to the people forever. The inspiration for this project and what this building is all about is based on the book of Joshua and building on a firm foundation, laying up stones as a memorial and as a, as a legacy for the future, uh, that we would be obedient to what Christ has called us to do, to be ambassadors for Christ, to impact the world for Jesus Christ and to impact the lives of coaches and athletes across our state and in our community for years to come. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been challenging coaches and athletes at all levels of competition to use the powerful medium of athletics to impact the world for Jesus Christ. FCA not only impacts athletes, but to get to meet weekly with other coaches on campus and to, to have that support to come together and discuss why we're, why we're doing what we're doing with athletes, to share our faith and struggles and how we might better influence our, our athletes for Jesus Christ is a great opportunity that FCA provides. For my family, uh, it, uh, you know, me specifically, FCA camp, uh, challenged me uh, to live my life for Christ. It wasn't good enough to be a good person. I needed to be a good and godly person and really it was through FCA camp, my first one that, that uh, first of all convicted me and then challenged me to, to rethink how I live my life. I guess for me um, what makes FCA unique and what I think that, that makes FCA unique is basically the commonality that, that kids share when they come in and um, usually it's a common ground in sharing a passion for a certain sport and at the same time um, there may be a little passion for Christ and the cool part about FCA is, is that they, they're able to develop that, that passion for Christ even more and, and that's really what FCA camp's all about. Oh, FCA definitely made me grow in my faith. And I don't think I've been nearly as far in the walk as I am now without FCA. Over the years, I've seen uh, young athletes hunger after spiritual things, something that's really a foundation in their life. And uh, I've also seen them grow uh, to become uh, not only boys when they first come, but men uh, when they uh, have come to know the Lord. And uh, there's a lot of physical and mental in our schools, but uh, we need the spiritual too, and FCA provides that. The schools can't do it, but FCA can. I think there's really some value into people who really understand athletics to come together in an opportunity like this uh, with Sioux Falls Christian, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and the University of Sioux Falls all coming together in a faith-based way uh, to really do something great for the community of Sioux Falls and to change young people's lives. Athletics can do that, but you have to give uh, students an opportunity to compete, an opportunity to participate. That's what this complex will do. And I think the, the FCA is filling that void of that parent that's maybe not in the picture. We're seeing more and more that responsibility go to our coaches. And so the FCA ministry to our coaches, I think is huge because they are that father figure for a lot of our athletes, both male and female, much more so than it was 20 years ago. In 1963, Local businessmen laid a foundation for the FCA ministry in South Dakota and have built upon it ever since through outreach events, coaches conferences, school assemblies, camps and clinics. FCA annually reaches out to nearly 30,000 athletes and coaches. 
This building, of course, will, will be a foundation, a foundation that we lay now that will leave a legacy for those who follow and continue the good work of FCA and essentially uh, setting a good example, leading young people who can be role models in their, in their life uh, serving Christ. This building idea is excellent. Again, it is one more arrow in the quiver. It allows for ministry in and of itself. It's a joint venture with the University of Sioux Falls, Sioux Falls Christian and FCA, and it's the only one like it in the country. The foundation has been laid. The cornerstone is Christ. Upon this rock, it will be built. One rock, one part in establishing his kingdom for his purpose. Essential for the future of this generation and generations to come, the future is now. This is uh, one of the most exciting times in the history of Fellowship Christian Athletes in South Dakota. Over the last two years, God has really placed upon our hearts a vision of how we can fund our ministry, and that is going to be through this building project. The building itself will generate for us a monthly revenue stream, which will allow us to increase our staff and uh, in all reality to do much more ministry. This is a God-sized project, but as we've uh, continually read throughout Scripture, Matthew 19, 26 uh, reaffirms and confirms to us that all things are possible with God. When FCA came to me with the idea of building a, a, um, a facility down there to generate long-term residual income and asked that if I would be interested in donating the land, it was very simple for me to do that because I don't own the land. I mean, the Lord owns everything. The only thing that I own is my right to say yes or no. So to donate the land to FCA uh, was a very easy thing for me to do. If all we ever attempt is that which we know we can do or have resources for, how will we ever discover what God can do in us and through us? FCA had an impact on my life in high school and college, and now it's influencing my three sons. The message of FCA is clear and effective, but this message requires funding. The new office in Sioux Falls will provide future funding for projects statewide. I encourage you to get involved. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now glory be to God who by his mighty power at work within us is able to do far more than we ever dare to ask or dream of beyond our highest prayers, desires, thoughts, or hopes. May he be given the glory forever. Amen.